what it do my family what it do guys much love much love much love welcome to the video today we're gonna go over five not ten five just five essential tips of how to get better with blanca and things that you need to do with blanca tips tricks whatever you want to call them that's what we're going over today let's get into it all right guys the first thing we're gonna go over is i get this comment a lot is how do you connect medium punch into the heavy punch ball in the air now i don't know which one y'all are talking about because y'all don't specify but if you're talking about the od ball it should look something like this here's an example the trick to doing this is you need to wait on the ground a little bit hold down back and when you jump you want it to be a manual jump and make sure you hold the like the diagonal don't ever go to up and when you hit them after you hit them you want to go forward into the heavy ball i got my inputs on the screen hopefully this helps as much as possible also if you do it in the corner like this it is just way way easier and i would say probably more consistent also after you do either one of these combos um if you do ex ball or regular ball make sure you just do a regular dash after and you will be plus enough to get oki nothing really serious or anything but you're still plus remember just do a regular dash to get in now the second option we're going to talk about is if you do it as a, a combo into level two and you drive rush heavy punch stance punch jump medium into heavy ball now when you do this combo after level two um you're in level two you don't have to charge any of your balls anymore I don't know if you do know this or don't know this, but the combo looks like this. Also, this combo does a little less damage than a new route that I found. I will show that combo right after this. The new route combo, just make sure the first ball you do it has to be the medium punch ball then you have to jump back and do heavy punch ball but whatever combo you think is easier you can do and to get next the jump medium punch into the heavy ball the first combo uh you have to manually jump it's easier that way but like i said if that combo is really hard and you can't do it try the second one out and it does more damage all right guys all right guys all right guys all right, all right, all right, all right. tip number two you may or may not know this but anytime you do ex lightning you can bait people's dps and supers like this Now, these are really good options because anytime you think they're gonna wake up, you can just double hop and bait them and punish accordingly. Uh, you may or may not have known this, uh, but it only works off the EX Lightning. Also work in whatever punish you can punish with. Not every DP and super has the same punish frames some allow you to hop up and get a standing heavy kick some may not you're gonna have to test this out on your own but i hope y'all like this tip on to the next all right guys on to tip number three this is more of a defensive option anytime you're mid screen and you want to throw out a block chan, you can kind of get away with it now if someone recovers in place um 
if someone recovers in place this actually jails them the only thing that they can do is uh wake up uppercut but i have the computer to set jump to kick right that's how i have them set to kick if you do this option and they wake up in place see how they're gonna get hit with the lightning because it's gonna jail them because uh when you throw out the blanca ton you're plus nine right here and when you do the lightning it's 10 frames so they really can't act um but this is for when people recover backwards right see how i'm able um i'm able to block in time and see how the counter it says standard but on the screen it said punish counter right there so you're able to hit them uh with the blanca chan if they try to do a jump attack um now remember this does lose to dps and supers and stuff like that but you can actually get away with this and able to activate the blanca chan mid screen and block in time if they try to do a jump in uh this could catch people off guard and here's a cute little combo and then we're going to the next tip tip number four guys is the same type of mid screen pressure but instead of a defensive option and kind of figure out what they want to do this is an offensive option this is his safe jump if you don't know what a safe jump is it's essentially doing this right here and you see i'm hitting him with the kick on the jump in now this becomes a safe jump when if they try to wake up dp or super or anything you're able to block in time and punish accordingly so the only thing they're able to do here i think they can wake up di i'm not certain uh, but you can always di back um and they can also wake up parry now that's something that depending on how good your opponent is they will or will do or won't do but just be wary of that you can also make this an empty jump and go for throws uh, after you enforce that this is a safe jump. And just remember when you jump in, when you're actually doing the jumping in and the kicking part, hold backwards. Now, if the kick hits, you go into combo. Um, and if it doesn't hit and they do something else, then just know like um whatever they do dp super whatever go for sand heavy kick as the punish option also whenever you do do a jump in make sure it's actually gonna jail them because if it doesn't jail them um if it doesn't actually jail them they can just uh just uppercut you back right um like this right here see that didn't jail um so make sure you jump in with like jump heavy punch i think it's a really good option um so you can make sure that you would jail them into whatever you want to do if they don't wake up but have fun with this and create your own ways i will show you options of um these are two examples to show you that it's actually going to hit them and it's actually going to beat uh, wake up options. The fifth and final tip that we want to go over is the same combo we showed you mid screen but why it's important in the corner also still loses to wake up od uppercuts but it's this combo right here um it's that combo right there and i want to show you that like if they wake up di um it actually is safe to do this You can do the lightning, still hit them. 
um whatever your combo you want to go for after that right so whenever you're plus nine and you do the ex lightning um the only thing that they can do there is wake up uppercut or not and you just have to bait uh and block if you think they're gonna uppercut but if they're like burnout or something there's literally nothing they can do um but remember to use this in the corner also he has um combos that go from this um i will show you some uh his optimal combos and stuff like that but just remember this loses to dp so you have to still bait dps and stuff but this option definitely beats di and they can parry the lightning or whatever but they have to be really good that's all i gotta say also if they're just holding parry you can grab them um hopefully you take this and use it also you can use his safe jump in the corner so don't forget about his safe jump but here are some combos that you get if they don't block guys make sure you use these five essential tips for blanca to steal some matches some rob some people y'all know blanca has a ski mask on look at his bandana he slides that over his face and he robs people all day if you didn't know this by now you should definitely know this uh, by either playing against a good blanca or seeing some of my stuff what he's capable of um one thing i kind of want to mention guys don't ever be afraid just to activate level two in the middle of a match also if you activate level two and you have a level one super you can beat projectiles i didn't mention that in the guide maybe i should have but it's an honorable mention um just remember when you have someone in the corner guys make them fear the blanca chan you have so many options that they have to worry about if they try to uppercut make them lose 70 percent of their life or more i'm sure there's better combos um that i haven't found out yet i just use that the combos that are easy for me and i can do them consistently but uh i appreciate y'all watching stick around for more videos hit that subscribe button hit them like buttons hit them thumbs up show me some love guys show me some love we're we're cruising cruising up these youtube uh charts I'm almost got 500 subscribers already and I appreciate y'all guys. Y'all are doing an amazing job by getting my content out there. I'm getting lots of views on not just some of my videos, but all my Blanca videos. I don't know if y'all actually love this character. Y'all love me. It could be both. I don't know, but I appreciate it and much love to all my family on my tube uh be sure if y'all want to see more live gameplay and stuff like that i do stream on twitch uh the same name rinsage haku and i'll see y'all there if y'all want to uh stick around hang around just talk to me live or whatever but this is going to be the end of the video hopefully they're short and sweet hopefully there's enough information on here and hopefully i answer the question finally how do you connect the jump medium punch into his heavy ball because that has been my most asked question and y'all have really really been asking 
I don't know how to put it any simpler than I did in this video. Hopefully it helps a little bit. It's hard to just say it's a feeling and it's a rhythm. But peace out, guys. Love y'all. Catch y'all on the next one.